we are going to move on from Nulan, who was talking about language learning, and we're going to now transition to Sandy, and Sandy is going to be coming to the stage. There she is. How's it going, Sandy? Good. How are you? <laughs> Not too bad. And Sandy, I just had the opportunity to, to spend some time with you back in February at Pete and C, so it's good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah, and uh, we're here to share today Future Ready Classrooms Preparing for Higher Education. Yes, we are. Super excited about this. Uh, Sandy, if you need anything, I will be just off to the side of the screen. Yes. But you can go ahead. I will share your screen. And we can see it. So you are good to go. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Ryan. So welcome, everyone, to this session five. I can't believe we're already nearing kind of the end of it. But uh, this presentation is called Using Wakelet to Create Future Ready Classrooms. I am so excited to be here today sharing my session. My name is Sandy Bennett, and I have been a teacher for over 30 years. Currently, I am an instructional technologist and a professor at Wilmington University. I'm also a um, Wakelet member, leader, and ambassador, and I've been that since 2022. And I just became a Wakelet certified trainer in December of 2023, and I'm so proud to be that. My passion is Wakelet, and it is immense. Uh, it's such an amazing tool to use to create just about anything. So I'm going to scroll through this collection, but if you can see at the top of my screen, I have many tabs open to try to streamline what I'm sharing with you. So I hope that it um, that it is all viewable to you. So. Moving forward down here, oh, there I am. Um, what I've included on my intro screen is just if you want to connect with me, um, you can subscribe to my profile in Wakelet if you'd like to. You can also, you know, communicate with me if you'd like. So I'm a firm believer in the fact that our classrooms to be future ready, um, it is important that they are technology driven. Classrooms that focus on student-led learning tools, future-ready skills development, and easy access to information are essential for students to be future-ready and for schools and educational institutions to promote future-ready education. Future-ready classrooms are dynamic and adaptable, focusing on developing a wide range of skills that students will need to succeed in higher education and the modern workforce. By, tech, by integrating technology, personalizing learning experiences, fostering collaboration, and connecting to the real world, these classrooms ensure that students are well prepared to meet the challenges and opportunities of the future. So what is the future holding for our students? Well, we have to understand first the future ready skills. Future ready classrooms include the skills that um, are connected to the four C's, collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. The best classroom activities provide students with opportunities to practice these skills in learner-centered environments. These future ready skills play a crucial role in preparing students for success in higher education and beyond. So we're going to take a look and if you can kind of notice on that one um, college ahead screen, um, I've kind of combined all four of those C's onto that particular screen. So I want to start off with critical thinking. In higher education, students are required to analyze complex information, solve problems, and to make informed decisions. Collaborative projects and group assignments are very common in higher education settings, whether it be online or in face-to-face -face classrooms. Collaboration skills help students work effectively with their peers, to share ideas and to achieve common goals through teamwork. And that of course transfers into the workforce as well. Effective communication is vital for academic success, which includes presenting research findings or participating in class discussions and writing clear and coherent 
assignments. Strong communication skills enhance students' ability to articulate ideas and engage with diverse audiences. And finally, creativity fuels innovation and original thinking in higher education, allowing students to approach problems from very unique perspectives and to promote or propose uh, novel solutions and express their ideas creatively. And so what better tool to support all of this? Wakelet. Wakelet is such a powerful tool to support and enhance the skills in future ready classrooms. By leveraging Wakelet's features and functionalities, educators can effectively integrate and enhance future ready skills in their teaching practices, providing students with opportunities to develop and demonstrate those four C's, critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity in a digital learning environment. So I wanna take a look at each one of those very briefly about how to integrate future ready skills with Wakelet. So we're gonna start with critical thinking. Critical thinking allows students to curate resources. Wakelet allows students to curate and organize diverse um, resources, encouraging critical evaluation of information, selection of relevant content, and synthesis of ideas to create meaningful collections. With collaborations, Wakelet enables collaboration curation where students can contribute to shared collections, fostering teamwork, communication, and collective knowledge building among their peers. With communication, Wakelet's multimedia features, students can communicate ideas effectively through visual storytelling, incorporating images, videos, and text to convey messages clearly and creatively. And speaking of creativity, Cre uh, Wakelet offers customization options for different layouts, different themes, and media embedding empowering students to showcase their creativity, to express original ideas, and to design visually engaging collections. So what I'd like to do is to share several strategies for using Wakelet to prepare students for future learning. And I'm gonna kind of teeter back and forth. So I'm gonna start here on this full Wakelet, and then if I'm gonna kind of go tab by tab just so that I can show you these particular wakelets and what they look like rather than just showing them here on the screen. So we're gonna take a look first at developing digital pedagogy. Students can curate and evaluate information by participating in things like curated research projects and digital content. So I'm gonna kind of move on over to the next tab. We're gonna talk about this first collection. This first collection is about curating research projects. You can assign students topics to research and create a collection of resources, teaching them to distinguish credible resources from unreliable ones. With this particular example, students curate a collection of articles, videos, and infographics on, in this case, how music has changed over the last decade or so. And they have to evaluate each of those sources' credibility to place into this particular collection. With the next one, students can create digital content. Again, they can use Wakelet to create multimedia projects. Students can create collections incorporating various types of media text, images, videos, links to present their findings on a given topic. And in this particular example, this is a digital history project where students create a collection with timelines and maps and documentary clips about a historical event such as how Walt Disney World came to be. 
which is my favorite place in the world. The third and last one is an example of a virtual field trip. So this is a really fun way that students can go places without leaving the classroom. And so this is a collection that is created by a teacher and takes students from the beginning of their um, particular virtual, virtual field trip and gives them steps to complete. And it also for the teacher includes um, integral parts of what a virtual field trip entails. It also has a rubric and it has an example of a sample virtual field trip, which is to Washington, DC. So I'm gonna go back to our original and kind of scroll down to the next part, which is looking at enhancing collaboration and communication. There are three collections that I want to look at in this particular part. Um, and these are going to focus on, like I said, enhancing collaboration and communication. So with collaborative projects, students can participate in group work. So with group work, um, we can look at using Wakelet's collaboration feature um, by enabling group projects where students can contribute content to a shared collection. In this particular example, this is a group assignment and I happened to use it in one of the courses I teach. This group assignment was given to my students to research and to compile information on different social justice topics. In this case, this was one that was about culture. And what they had to do with their group mates was to find literature that they could use, children's literature that they could use in their social studies class to teach their students about social justice topics. And in this case, this one was about culture. And so these students worked together to find three books that they thought would best um, be used to teach their students about culture. And so this is their compilation of um, what they had to do and finding an activity that would best suit, in this case, a particular children's literature book. Another way that we can enhance collaboration and communication is by looking at um, some feedback to each other within um, a group assignment or group project. So feedback is really important and peer review. You can facilitate peer review by having students share their collections with classmates for feedback and reflections. So with this example, students create collections on a literature topic. So this one was about bibliotherapy. Bibliotherapy are, is um, children's literature that is used to help students with social and emotional issues. Um, it used to be way back when, when I started teaching is that the counselor came in to do that in the classroom. Well, now our teachers are being asked to do that. So what a great way to do this is with a Wakelet collection. And so again, I had my students creating a collection of um, books that they would use to teach a bibliotherapy topic. And so down below, and I have received permission by these students to share um, what they were asked to do with this literature topic was to not only share an image, so they got to bring in the um, using the image tool, but also to provide a summary about the book the target age, and how it would foster social and emotional learning um, for particular age groups. And so not only did they do this, so you can see each student shared their book, but we also had peer review. So students that were in this class came into a particular student's column, which is my favorite layout in Wakelet, um, they gave some feedback, some questions to consider um, in this particular Wakelet collection. So that's one example. The other one I'm pretty proud to share 
Um, my daughter, my, my middle daughter is a student at a local university and she's a student in secondary English. And she had a, um, an assignment that she had to do um, where she taught a lesson to the group. Um, and because her um, major is um, secondary English, they were focusing on literature. And so she chose hip hop critical um, literacy. And so with her lesson that she taught to the group, she asked the students in her class a question. So you can see the question was, what do you know about hip hop literature and or culture? And so she created this with Canva um, created the background with Canva, and then she used the same, she used the um, mood board layout, and some students in her class came in and tried to answer the question. So again, we are, you know, using the idea or focusing the idea on collaboration and communication with what Wakelet provides. So moving on, going to come back here, moving on to organizing and managing um, information, we're going to be looking at um, how students can use Wakelet to do so. So I'm going to again look at three things, portfolios, which I know is Ryan's thing. Um, we're also going to look at other ways that students can organize and manage information. So we're going to start first with portfolios. So student portfolios are huge. Um, and personal learning portfolios are a fantastic way for students to document their learning. You can encourage students to create personal portfolios to document their learning journey, their achievements and reflections that they have on that learning journey. And so this is an example of a student portfolio collection where this student has added projects and assignments and reflections on their learning progress throughout a year. This is one that I found um, in Wakelet that I just loved that was shared by a student in the Wakelet's search area. So it was, you know, okay to use. I copied it so that the student's name is not there, but I just loved it. I loved the coloring. I loved the fact that this student took some pictures um, and uploaded them into her Wakelet collection. What a phenomenal thing to include. Um, moving on, besides just documenting progress and learning, um, students can also manage the information that they're getting when they're in class. So information can be compiled into a class notes collection. Students use Wakelet to organize their class notes, making it easier to review and study. And what's great about this is that they can share it. So if there's a student who's been absent from class, be a friend, share it with someone and they can look at your notes. So this example is a, a collection that has been created for, in this case, each subject area where students can add notes, lecture recordings, and relevant resources. And so just a reminder, Wakelet provides exceptional templates like the ones shown here for class notes. What a great thing to use. So the next part that I want to look at is about encouraging critical thinking and creativity. We're going to look at two things. Case just studies. Wanna, yeah, go ahead. Just want to pop in just a couple more minutes, uh, Sandy, before yep. we uh, get Dusty on, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm almost done. Thank you. So two things that I want to share here with encouraging critical thinking and, and uh, creativity is case studies. So this is a collection, which is a case study um, that I use in a class that I'm teaching. So again, using the layout, the column layout, um, students can follow a, um, a template to gather information on a student that they are doing a case study on. Digital storytelling is a creative way that students can create digital storytelling or digital stories using all of the great ways that um, Wakelet provides multimedia content, but also app smashing. So two of my favorites are here within this digital storytelling, which is Edpuzzle and Book Creator. I love them both. Just about done facilitating reflective learning. So we have journals and we have um, we have 
one more reflective journal. So you can use this to have students just reflect on books that they've read. Um, we also have, and I'm not going to go back and forth, but there is a template for this that you can do. Um, we have two more things, which is to promote lifelong learning. So because we're talking about future ready skills, why not talk about college preparation? So this is a collection that has been created on preparing for college. So this collection can be curated by a teacher, by a parent, together um, to share with students as they are preparing to leave high school and move on to college. Lastly, I just wanna share the idea of um, inclusivity and equity and accessibility. So this is a collection that is all about accessibility tools for learners. This collection is about inclusivity, that we're all in this together, and that just you know, supports the fact that we are providing an environment for learning that includes everyone. So finally, just to pull my thoughts together, and I'm sorry if I go over, but I've created one last collection that encompasses all of the strategies that I've just shared and more for future ready classrooms. And I'd like to conclude my time sharing some a thought. So by integrating Wakelet into classroom activities, educators can help students develop essential skills for future learning. Wakelet's versatile platform supports a range of learning activities that enhance digital literacy, those four C's, and reflective learning. And these skills are so crucial for students as they navigate their educational journeys and prepare for academic, uh, future academic and career success. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm so happy that I was able to present um, and I enjoyed sharing. Um, so this um, Wakelet has been shared with you. You're more than welcome to use anything that's in here, share it, use it, whatever you want. It's up to you. But I've also included at the very bottom um, my contact information, which is down at the last slide. So thank you, everyone. I enjoyed my time. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Sandy. I, the comments will, will let you know, and you can go back and read and watch these as well. But I think everybody just loved the sheer magnitude of the collections, the variety, it's just everything that you shared hit on so many things. I know Nicole was saying the variety of collection samples being shared, just the idea of the designs, the outlines, just the way that it was all set up. I think you inspired a lot of people, and we will be sharing that collection out here shortly just with a certificate link right after uh, our next person comes up. So Sandy, thank you. Thank you.